Welcome to the Corner Post Channel, your ultimate source for all things football. Dive into the exhilarating world of the beautiful game with us as we bring you the latest updates, breaking news, in-depth analyses, and exclusive insights into the footballing universe. From electrifying match highlights to expert commentary, transfer rumors to tactical masterstrokes, join us on this thrilling ride through the highs and lows of the footballing landscape. Whether you're a die-hard fan or a casual enthusiast, get ready to score big on all the football news you crave, right here on the Corner Post channel. Jordan Henderson reaches agreement with Al Edifak to terminate contract and quit Saudi Pro League. Al Edifak have agreed to terminate Jordan Henderson's contract after only six months. Midfielder will leave their training camp in Abu Dhabi and return to England as he searches for a new club. Ajax remain in talks over a permanent deal to sign the midfielder. Jordan Henderson can leave Saudi Arabia after Al Edifak agreed to terminate his contract. They have also agreed to let him leave their training camp in Abu Dhabi and return to England as he is searching for a new club. It has been no secret that Henderson struggled to settle into life in the Middle East. Ajax coach John Vanit Ship has already confirmed that the Amsterdam club would be keen to welcome the England international in an attempt to revive their dwindling season. They are 23 points shy of lead leaders PSV and believe Henderson could help them push for European qualification during the remainder of the campaign. Ajax confirmed the signing of Jordan Henderson on contract until June 2026. Jordan Henderson has completed his move back into European football after his Al Edifak contract was terminated and he signed for Ajax. The transfer came after the England midfielder had spent less than six months in Saudi Arabia, amid reports he was unhappy. The 33-year-old had joined Al Edifak from Liverpool last summer on a three-year contract worth a reported £350,000 a week. However, after cutting short his stay, he has now signed a two-and-a-half-year deal with Ajax. I'm sad to say that I will be leaving Al Edifak with immediate effect, Henderson wrote on social media. It wasn't an easy decision, but one that I feel is best for me and my family. I want to take this opportunity to thank the club and the fans for all the support during my time. I really felt the love from day one. I'll keep watching and hoping for your success. Good luck for the future. Lionel Messi's Inter Miami play out scoreless draw against El Salvador in preseason opener. Four days after being named FIFA's best men's player, Lionel Messi began the preseason with Inter Miami of Major League Soccer, which played to a scoreless draw with the El Salvador national team in an exhibition on Friday night. The Argentina star played in the first half alongside Uruguayan striker Luis Suarez, his new teammate for the upcoming NLS season. Suarez reunited with Messi in Miami after the pair played six seasons together with Barcelona. Erling Haaland is Player of the Year as Man City dominate Dubai Globe Soccer Awards. Manchester City dominated the Dubai Globe Soccer Awards on Palm Jumeirah on Friday night, with striker Erling Haaland collecting Best Men's Player. Although Al Nasser captain Cristiano Ronaldo did pick up a trio of honors too the 14th edition of the awards, taking place at Atlantis, the Palm, and staged in partnership with Dubai Sports Council, saw City sweep six prizes, with Chairman Khaldun Al Mubarak named Best President, Pep Guardiola Best Coach, and the treble winners Best Men's Club. Rodri also took Best Midfielder, with Ederson named Best Goalkeeper. A sizable City delegation, including their 25-man squad who are in the UAE for a warm-weather training camp, were present at the awards. Organizers said the winners were selected with help from more than 70 million fan votes from 225-plus countries and territories. Haaland, who pipped to the award, a plethora of stars including Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Mohamed Salah and Kylian Mbappe, said upon receiving his award on stage, first of all, the guys sitting here, teammates, are a bunch of amazing people. And my manager, of course. It's a fantastic club, and the support we players get from the administration and the leaders of the club is massive as well. I really enjoy being there. Asked when he expected to return from the foot injury that has kept him sidelined since December 6, Hallen said, I hope really soon, 
because I'm getting sick of not playing. So hopefully soon. Guardiola, voted best coach ahead of a number of high-profile counterparts such as Real Madrid's Carlo Ancelotti, Argentina's Lionel Scaloni, and Atletico Madrid's Diego Simeone, gestured towards his players and reflected on a fantastic past 12 months for the Abu Dhabi-owned club. There are many, many reasons for the success, especially all of them sitting there, Guardiola said. Of course, we are here in UAE, where Abu Dhabi helped unconditionally. Yeah, really, really happy. Pressed to choose which of his all-conquering Barcelona side or this city team were better, Guardiola replied. It's like selecting between your mom and dad. Both are special. Ronaldo, who before the awards took to the stage alongside city pair Kyle Walker and Ruben Dias for a panel discussion under the banner of the 18th Dubai International Sports Conference, scooped awards for best Middle East player the Globe Soccer Maradona Award for most goals scored in a calendar year and fans' favorite player of the year. Brighton have signed another South American talent. Brighton and Manchester City quick to catch on to global emerging talent. The two Premier League clubs hope that signing gifted young players from South America does not become a trend among their rivals. For scouts from most Premier League clubs, the Under-17 World Cup at the end of last year was an opportunity to see some of the best young players on the planet in the flesh for the first time. But for a select few such as Brighton and Manchester City, who have been quick to take advantage of football's increasingly global pool of emerging talent, the tournament in Indonesia was more about crossing fingers and hoping their secrets remained under wraps. Whenever a player travels to an international tournament, their clubs understand that there will be a lot of foreign clubs watching them live and that always pushes up the interest, says Matias Lippmann, who works as an intermediary for South American players. They give them a lot of visibility and the local clubs know it.